What's going on guys? We are not at our house. We are at our Airbnb in Kyoto. We just literally drove into Kyoto this morning. Um, the drive wasn't too bad. Well, with the baby and having to feed every couple hours, it took us about six hours-ish to get here. It was a little over 9,200 yen in tolls to get here. So we got here a lot quicker than taking the back roads. Can I tell you something? Yeah, sure. Hey guys, guess what? You know our normal fridge at our house? Look at this fridge. Dude, it's so small. <laughs> okay, so uh, we got this Airbnb. It's like in the middle of the city. It's a Japanese style apartment. So it is very, very small and it's definitely eye-opening if you have not seen a traditional Japanese size apartment. Here is the front door have our shoes here there's a nice little step they have slippers to walk in you walk in here and you're automatically in the kitchen you have the washer microwave fridge which Kaden was just telling you guys about the mini fridge you have a sink and you have the stove and one thing is there is a limited counter space and that is very very factual because when we lived off base in Okinawa we had very limited counter space. This is all the counter space you get. So you just gotta kinda make do and, you know what I'm saying, make it work. Across from the sink, right here, we have the bathroom. So you walk in, here is the Japanese toilet, sink, and then you have a sliding door. You have the shower and the bathtub right here, which is actually really small. Kaden, really look. Deep really deep pull this real quick yeah it is deep though look how small this tub is guys it's shara size for sure i can actually do a bath in this shara size i don't think jesse can though i wonder if he can like fit in it he's gonna have to go like his legs up there <laughs> yeah you have a shower head if you do want to take showers and then we walk in this direction and then you have this room this one big room. The Airbnb has two beds in here just so four people can sleep in this Airbnb and don't mind our stuff. They had it all nice and neatly like rolled with towels and whatnot. And then the TV is right here. It's a nice little Airbnb. Definitely nice and cozy for a place to stay. What's it look like out here, babe? Let's see. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. Yeah. That is our nice little homey Airbnb. It is raining out today. Today is um, a travel day, but also it was raining out. So we're just going to go do something indoors. We're gonna go check out the Nishiki Market first and probably just snack on some food, see what kind of food they got, see what kind of desserts they got. It is in the evening, so we're just gonna hang. And this is actually Baby Mochi. This is her first little um, overnight getaway. This is our first time taking her uh, somewhere. I figured that this would be a nice little perfect trip. Oh no. What? The Shiki Market closes at 5 p.m. They close at, f are you sure? sure? The best 10 a.m. is better or just before closing around 5 p.m. Are you are you serious? Oh, that's gonna be super bummy if it if it's closed right now. Open from around 10 to 6 p.m. Yeah, it's about to close. More of a daytime affair, but perfect for some snacks and busy. I guess Nishiki Market is out of question. Yeah, right? half an hour from now, which we're not. Yeah, gonna that's make. not. We're gonna I don't want to get there and then it close. Okay, so change of plans. I guess yeah, we are not p. going. Bruh. Okay, so what are we gonna do? <gasps> let up for now and we just got here at Niagawacho I'm not sure I'm probably butchering that honestly look at this it's so freaking cool especially in the rain there's something about Japan in the rain and it gives you the good vibes you know the kids and Jesse just took a turn down an alley so we're gonna go check that out look at this alley it's so narrow it's pretty cool did not realize that Gion District is literally right there where we were at and we were walking it 
we got to the private area where there was like signs everywhere about no photographs, do not take pictures, you will get a 10,000 yen fine, which equals out to about like $100. So we put the cameras away and got to just enjoy the moment. But that was so freaking cool, especially in the rain. There was literally no one on the streets because it's wet and it's dead out here. But um, yeah, so cool. We're about to go see the shrine right now. Uh, Jesse said it's open 24 hours, so we're gonna go check it out. If you ever get a chance and you are out exploring and it's raining, just get out and explore. Just do it, you know? Sightseeing and seeing everything in the rain just makes it that much more like rad. So definitely recommend it, you have to go do it. walking around that area. I hope this is not distracting. But um, we're gonna go get some ramen, right? Can we get ramen? Let's go. So here we are, we're at Menbaka Fire Ramen. Ready to eat? Are you guys excited? Yeah. <laughs> So we just finished up with the uh, Menbaka Fire Ramen experience, and it was pretty cool. What did you guys think of the fire Good. ramen? Good! I liked huh? it. Scary! It was scary. <laughs> What's pretty cool is they actually got on video, which is uh, pretty rad, huh? Mm. How like they set the camera for you and everything. You guys will have already seen this footage, but we're watching the footage right now <laughs> of, the, of the fire <laughs> ramen. Like, why you look worried, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's gonna end our night. The kids have already showered, got them showered and in bed. We are going to get this one, this little one, all cleaned up and ready for bed. She actually did really good on the car ride here. She pretty much, what, slept the whole time and the only time that she didn't sleep was when it was time to feed, so we would pull over at a rest stop, feed her, get her situated, and then she would pass out again. So luckily we had a really, really good experience with her riding well because it's been a struggle lately, you know what I'm saying? Like she literally cries every time we get her in the car seat. She's not a fan, but lately she's been cooperating. She's fitting in so well and everyone is still obsessed with her. And she is starting to be obsessed with everyone else. She's starting to smile and like, I think she's starting to recognize all of us. Like she sees everyone and she smiles and I think she's starting to like kind of tell we're fam, you know what I'm saying? Today was a long day, a long but successful day and we're going to call it a night. The next few days are gonna be super long and we have a whole itinerary planned. Say goodnight guys. Good night. Good night. <laughs> no, she oh, said, her too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next vlog.